What's up, guys? Chris and Closet Weave here. And we're back on my closet to watch episode 7 of Free Rin Beyond Journey's End. So, last episode, uh, we had Stark uh, overcoming his fear of, of the dragon, and he was able to take out the dragon himself. And we got some backstory with him and his master, Isen. And then Isen actually hit him, gave him that scar because uh, his body. Uh, moved on reflex because his body realized how strong Stark uh, actually was and that was the reason why the dragon wasn't attacking the village because even the dragon can sense how strong Stark was. We got some amazing animation with Stark fighting the dragon. Uh, Free Rin got her her magic book. She got her new spell <laughs> to be able to see through people's clothes and then they made it to another town um, where uh, uh, at first they were gonna be uh, They would have had to stay there for I think two years to wait for some stuff to settle down but then uh, one of the head dudes there uh, recognized Freerin and then uh, Gave them the pass to go through to, to the northern to the to the northern lands and then uh, Stark we got to hear what he wants to do. He wants to go on an adventure and uh, make it back to Isen to tell tell him some stories about the adventure. Um, See, so yeah, we got our we got our frontliner, we got our warrior Stark, we got Fern, and we got Free Rin <laughs> making making their way to uh, the Demon King's castle. Um, so let's see what happens next. Let's jump into episode seven of Free Rin Beyond Journey's End, like a fairy tale. <laughs> <laughs> Did they not know that was her master? Okay, no, <laughs> they know. They know that's her master. <laughs> it's the end of the world. <laughs> she actually woke up. <laughs> woke up early. <laughs> For waking up early. <laughs> Where we at? 28 years. Hmm. Oh, that boy start thinking. No. <laughs> We're a party for the people. <laughs> uh oh. They're about to run into some demons. Yeah, I like his outfit. Stark looking kind of clean. There it is. The brother-sister relationship. <laughs> oh, elves are rare in this world. Mm. Okay. So elves don't got that. Don't got that sexual drive. Oh, see, another town impacted by their party. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. <laughs> oh, the boy Himmel thinking about you, freer and in the future. Oh, the boy be spitting. 
don't want you to forget about them and your adventures with them. <laughs> now that's an adventure, Stark. <laughs> Going to heaven. Uh oh. Oh. She ready to scrap. Demons? We got demons in town? Holo. Oh. Oh. Pin down. Okay, so maybe there's demons that are cool? Good demons? Hey, that dude's voice sounds so good. What the heck? <laughs> Freeman got that bloodlust. <laughs> Ya beast. Ooh. Huh? Free were just getting getting put in prison like that? Hold up. <laughs> uh what do you guys do? <laughs> just believe in your master or in your party leader. <laughs> Two or three years? <laughs> yeah, yeah, those two aren't about that. <laughs> mm. Okay, one of the demon lord forces people. Yeah, sounds sketchy to me. I don't trust no demons. Now they're trying to they're trying to be sneaky out here. No. Uh -oh. All right. Let's see what you guys ran into. Oh, don't tell me Himmel. Yeah, Himmel didn't do it. Dang. That boy Himmel got a soft spot. Don't point. Don't tell me they. Don't tell me they let that thing live and it eats more of them. The demon about to eat you right here. What? Mm -hmm. Okay. So what happens? Like if she's still thinking that same way, I'm assuming something bad happens. <laughs> like this village, you gave that demon a chance and then it just... Snapped right back into its demon ways. Oh! Yep. Betrayal. Hey, they gave it a chance. Take him out, Himmel. <laughs> Dead. 
Gave you a chance, little demon. You little demon child. Nope, that ain't working again. Oh. Cold. They're just, they just, they're just good at manipulating. Yep. Yeah. So like, it's just, it's just the demons now have evolved to to be even better with their speech. Yeah, we gotta <laughs> we, we gotta break free rent out of here. Or we gotta take out the, the demons ourselves. Mm. Yeah. See, they're scheming! Free rings onto them. Yep. Deception. They're just looking for their moment to attack. Oh, was he killed by a demon? Okay, they they're smart. Oh. Okay. Smart man. All right, he wasn't falling for it. But this dude looks kind of strong because <laughs> he's not looking worried. Who? Oh no, see there it is. He, he's using that tactic. He, they're only communicating to deceive. Nope. Where's Freerin? Freerin? Oh man, that demon's good. He got to him good. Oh. <laughs> the guards? The guards don't hear that chit chat? <laughs> Sus. Yup. Hey, do you guys not have people like listening? Come on now. <laughs> oh my, these divas are kind of crazy. What the? Good luck. Oh, I love it. Freerid like got that that cool confidence. Hey. She ain't gonna take it easy on you. She ain't falling for your t to your words. <laughs> Talk to your. It's over. Oh. Free Rin is her! Let's go! Talk your mage strength talk, Free Rin. Alright, so the three of them first uh, helped out this old man, clear some stuff uh, so they can get to this town and that town. Um, another town that the Heroes Party uh, went through and they celebrate them every year. Um, they hold like a, a, a party type thing. Um, worshipping him and then they they made their way to another town where Freerin sent demons and we got the flashback with uh, Freerin and the heroes party at a different village dealing with demons and Freerin was trying to tell Himmel that they should just kill that demon that was there 
uh, but the village chief decided to give it a chance to uh, to try and um, live amongst the other villagers but then it just reverted right back to its demon ways and Freerin was talking about how they they only learned how to speak the human language uh, to deceive them they don't know anything they don't they don't have feelings nothing like that um, the demon kept talking about uh, uh, a mother and they don't even know the concept of a mother or father and then the demon in the present time uh, town is trying to negotiate with uh, the king of the town to bring peace but it's all a plan to lower their guard and have the forces of Aura uh, someone that served the demon king when Himmel and his party with Freerin took them out came back I guess and I'm guessing she's like the new leader or something and then Freerin got caught she got put in jail one of the guards for that demon king guy or demon representative went to try or is going to try and take out Freerin by himself and Freerin with that cool calm confidence told him straight up he asked her if, if she's stronger than him and she's like nah I'm stronger than Aura the leader so it's about to be easy work for Freerin. The dude just opened up the prison cell, so she's about to get out of there and handle the business, handle those demons uh, without any hesitation. Um, so I can't wait to see what happens next. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.